Lincoln Lions. It's Mrs. Sawyer here with Pepper. Say hi, Pepper. I wanted to read you a little story today that the girls picked out because it looks like Pepper and it's called Twinkie the Dinky Dog. Twinkie was a very big dog, at least in his own eyes. In the eyes of the rest of the world, Twinkie was dinky. Twinkie's owner treated him like a dinky dog. She carried him like a purse. She dressed Twinkie up in silly sweaters. She sent Twinkie to charm school. She called him Twinkie Poo. And she made him go potty on a wee wee pad. That was the worst. Twinkie wanted to run with the big dogs in the big dog park. He dreamed of curb and tree trunk and new mown lawn and long wide sidewalks in the misty dawn. Do you hear some rhyming words? But Bubba and Tank and Bertha wanted nothing to do with Twinkie because his owner carried him around like a purse. Because his owner dressed him in silly sweaters. Because his owner called him Twinkie Poo. Because his owner made him go potty on a wee wee pad. Bubba and Tank and Bertha growled at dinky dog things, and dinky dog treats, and dinky dog tops, dinky dog collars, and dinky dog shops. It was not fair. In his heart, Twinkie knew he was a big dog. Was this any way to treat a big dog? No, it was not. Twinkie would show them. He waited until his owner was busy talking on the phone. He wiggled and jiggled loose. He ran to the big dog park as fast as his dinky legs could carry him. The big dog saw Dinky, Twinkie out running loose. They teased him. Oh, poor guy. Bubba asked where his fancy collar was. Tank asked where his silly sweater was. Bertha asked where his wee wee pad was. Twinkie told them he had wiggled loose and now it was time for him to learn the big dog moves. The big dogs growled and scowled. Then they put their heads together. Bubba, Bubba looked at Tank. Tank looked at Bertha. Bertha looked at Bubba. The big dog agreed. It was time to teach Twinkie the big dog moves. They showed Twinkie big dog struts and big dog growls and snarls and big dog scowls. Twinkie was getting the hang of it. But then his owner found him. She had been looking all over for her Twinkie Poo. Twinkie was sad that he had to go home. Twinkie tried out the big dog moves when he got home. He tried his struts and his growls and snarls and snarls. Sometimes he even scared himself. Bit by bit, Twinkie began to feel like a big dog. Then there came a dark and stormy night. Twinkie had a scary noise outside the door. So did Twinkie's owner. It was a robber! Twinkie's owner was scared. She reached for her phone to call the police, but she couldn't find it. She did not know what to do, but Twinkie did. Twinkie did what big dogs did. Twinkie scowled and snarled and shredded to the door. Growl, ro growl rose to bark and bark rose to roar. Twinkie sent the robber running for his life. The whole world soon heard about Twinkie. His picture was on the front page of the newspaper. Things changed for Twinkie. No more being carried around like a purse. No more silly sweaters. No more charm school. And no more wee wee pad. That was the best of all. Now Twinkie ran with the big dogs with Bubba and Tank and Bertha. Now Twinkie enjoyed curb and tree trunk and new mown lawn and long wide sidewalks in the misty dawn. Twinkie was not dinky and now the whole world knew it. I hope you enjoyed my story. There will be more to come next week. I love you and have a fantastic weekend.